Hello everyone, Sassy Cassie here with SassyCassieSews.com. Today we're like totally going to make scrunchies. My daughter totally called me a visco girl because I'm wearing these scrunchies. What the heck is a visco girl anyway? I don't even know. But today we are going to have fun. We're going to be making some scrunchies. This is probably one of the most popular things that my sewing students request for me to teach them how to make is scrunchies. I mean, who knew? It's like we're back in the 80s. But anyway, scrunchies are super fun, they're really easy, they make great gifts, good stocking stuffers, and it's a great way to use up your scrap fabric. So all you need, really, is an 18 by 3 and a half inch strip of fabric. I cut mine about 18 to 20 inches long and 3 and a half wide. Um, you're going to need, I, I usually cut mine with rotary cutters. Uh, I have a rotary mat, so I use my, my ruler and my blade and I just cut. But you can totally use scissors and just cut your strips if you don't have a rotary cutter. So you're going to need that. Um, you're going to need a safety pin for later. And you're also going to need some elastic, which is behind me. But I'll grab that for you in just a minute, all right? So, But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this strip of fabric over to the ironing board. So I'll meet okay, you over to there. To start with, we're going to fold over one end, one of our short ends of our fabric and we're going to iron this down and I'm just guesstimating about half an inch. Um, doesn't have to be exact but it's about half an inch folded over ironed down. Then we're going to take our fabric and we're going to turn it so that it's right sides together. Let's just stick a few pins in here. Um, all the way down. And yes, you want this edge to be folded as you're folding it in half lengthwise. And now we're ready to go run it through our machine. We're going to take our scrunchie and we're going to put it here on the 3 8 seam allowance line. Put it under our machine and we're just going to take a straight stitch all the way down. Don't forget your back stitch. Take our pin out, stab it into our cushion. And we're going to just sew a straight line all the way down. Pretty easy. Sometimes that thread gets caught underneath. And all the way to the end, we're sewing over that folded edge. And back stitch, needle up, trim your ends, and now we are ready to turn this. I'm going to reach in here and grab a safety pin since I left my other one on the table. Okay, so now you're going to want to take a safety pin and just pin it to one edge, one end and shove that safety pin through and you're just going to flip flip your scrunchie. So just push that safety pin down, hold on to the end and scoot your fabric down carefully. You don't want to rip through the end of your fabric with that safety pin, so don't pull too hard. There, once you get past that initial bulky part right there, it goes pretty easy. So we're going to keep doing this all the way down until we get to the end. Now we have the end of our safety pin. onto that edge and pull it the rest of the way through. At this point I like to take it back over to the iron and iron it down so I will show you that. So make sure that your end is still tucked back inside and then just pull that seam that you just sewed, pull it out and just hit it with the iron a little bit. Um, just kind of give it a good a good uh, finish there on your seam. And sometimes it gets a little wrinkly pulling it through, so that kind of just helps it out a bit. 
Now you're going to take a piece of elastic. Um, I cut about seven inches and we're going to put a safety pin through one end of the elastic and now is the part we're going to just weave it through our scrunchie. Um, I'm using half inch, I believe this is half inch elastic. You could really use any size elastic, but the bigger it is, the easier it is to sew. Um, I found that using smaller than half inch, it's a little bit tricky getting that elastic under the sewing machine, under your presser foot. Also, make sure that you're holding on to that tight so that it doesn't go through, because if you lose it through your scrunchie, then you're going to have to start all over again. So you need to pull it through until it's out the other end. And now we're going to take this back over to our machine. Um, I'm just going to put a pin in here, which I will show you over back at the machine. Okay, so you can see that we overlapped our elastic. Um, I'm just going to stick a pin in here just to hold it in place. I'm going to remove this pin before I start sewing because I don't want it to get jammed in my machine. So I'm going to slip this under here. You may have to stretch your elastic a little bit as you're pulling it back there and then put your presser foot down. I'm going to take that pin out in just a minute, but first I'm going to change my settings to a zigzag stitch. I like to do a zigzag. Sometimes the elastic gets jammed when I do a straight stitch. Machines don't really like elastic. So I'm going to just go on a zigzag, turn my length maybe just slightly above one, and I'm going to keep my width where it's at. So I'm going to take this, do a zigzag forward, and just do a little back right there, and needle all the way up, and there we go. For some reason, my machine skipped a little bit in there. I don't know what's going on with that, but we're not going to stress out about it because it's sewn through on both sides and it's going to hold it pretty well. So I'm just going to trim our threads up here. Now we're going to take our raw edge and we're going to tuck it into that folded edge of the scrunchie. Now you want to make sure that your scrunchie didn't get twisted. Um, you want to make sure that it's it's the same way, same direction all the way around and that it didn't get twisted up in there. So now we have our raw edge inside the folded edge all the way around and we're going to switch this setting back to a straight stitch. Put our length back there and we're just going to come in under here and we're going to try to get really close to that folded edge. I don't know if you can see that with the camera. Um, I'm pretty close to that folded edge. I like to just kind of take it down by hand just to make sure where it's at. And we're just going to sew across. So I'm going to do a little back stitch and push that fabric through, help it just a little. And then I'm here at the end, so I'm going to back stitch. And that is it, my friends. So that's it, girls. That's all there is to making a scrunchie. Super easy, super cute. You can do them in minutes. Uh, recently, my daughter made a whole bunch up, and she sold them at the boys' school family picnic. She set up a booth, and she sold, like... $75 worth of scrunchies. So it's a good little side business. It's good for gifts, just for friends and whatever. And it's super easy. So make sure to check out my blog. Uh, I have a step-by-step -step tutorial if you'd rather have it that way. Measurements written down in case you've forgotten. And some links to some other materials and tools that you might need to complete this project. So be sure to check it out and to check out some other projects that I have on there as well www.sassycassiesews.com. Thanks for joining me today and we'll see you next time.